All right, Lady Ada, it's new product time. First okay. up. We oh, got, we've got more open beam. We now have um, the open beam. We have we have the starter pack. We have the machinist kits, and then we realize like, oh wait, we also have these like advanced non-machinist, but still like very complete kits. They come with like tons of L brackets, T brackets, tons of stuff, and they're like 150 bucks. These are really great. You can like build like a milk bot with uh, this much stuff. So do check it out. Um, we love extrusion. We think it's a really great way to to easily build stuff when you don't necessarily have. Um, you know, a water jet or a laser cutter because you can hacksaw it. Yeah, I kind of like how the tie kind of talk. Can, you can kind of hear you, mm -hmm. but it's pretty. The the sensitivity is nice. Look at this. Anyways, uh, next up, this is kind of a big deal. Uh, I know. Hold on. Actually, can you skip this one? Because I have to. I just turned it on. I have to. Uh, okay. To well, set it up. We're let's, gonna let's skip go, this. Go, one. We'll go back right, to this one. This one's mine then. Okay, this one. Yeah. So um, Beaglebone is going to release a new board. It's going to be a, a, a lower cost board. Mm -hmm. um, the Beaglebone has been fantastic. We have the, some of the best tutorials, some great accessories. Um, you can sign up for it. It also not, adds HDMI. It adds HDMI. And has onboard flash. Onboard okay. flash. Um, it's going to it's going to be um, it's going to be priced great, and uh, yes. it's going to be a little bit more than Raspberry Pi. But, less but it's going to be Beagle. less than some other things that are out there that are kind of Linuxy that people are doing. <laughs> it's also available in for black, as you can tell, that's our company color. Yeah. Okay, so we can go back to the, uh, the Wi-Fi now. All right, so let's go back to this thing. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a Wi-Fi microscope, and this is a really weird thing, and so I actually have to describe it. It's a microscope, um, and I'm holding it, it's wireless, but not only is it wireless, but it's Wi-Fi. And there's a lot of wireless microscopes that are a lot less expensive, but they need a USB dongle. This actually has an access point inside of it, and so you can connect to it, and then use a net camera viewer, and these are like, used for any kind of security camera systems, a very common protocol. Um, and so you can use an iPad or an Android device. You can use a computer, of course, but what's cool is that you can use an iOS device without any additional hardware or special software. You just use a, a standard net cam viewer. So um, maybe on the overhead, yeah, I on, can... We're going to the overhead. Live demo. So yeah, so for example... I'm maybe we can look at Mike's um, project over there. Um, well, I want to show something that's like fine pitch. So okay. this is like, um, I can inspect a, uh, and this is an iPad mini. Yeah. And uh, let me see if I can focus in on it. Yeah, so I can focus in. Well, it's kind of hard to do both at the same time. And also the... Yeah, we have a webcam and two cams and then a wireless webcam. Yeah, I'm trying to get it so it's not... Hey, lady, I heard like, you like cams. So. I know. Yeah, I can't really do cam that. Cam while you can while you can. Uh, but, yeah, maybe, maybe you can hold that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can you can see it's actually a really uh, good quality camera. It's, it's 6.4 by 480, but it's good quality. We really liked it. Um, it's kind of the only solution we've ever seen where if you want to do some sort of optical inspection and you don't have like a way to plug something in because you're using a tablet or a phone, you can use this with your Android phone or your you know, Apple phone or whatever kind of phone as long as there's um, an available uh, camera viewer and like every single phone these days has an IP camera viewer because um, so many security systems use IP cameras. Yeah. So it's really cool. It has some LEDs to light up your work. Um, it has this removable thing. You can change the magnification, and uh, there's an on-off switch over here too. Me, me. So um, check it out. Hopefully, we'll uh, have a little demo video at some point. Yeah, works on Android, iOS. Works on everything, but we just showed iOS because iOS is the hardest PC. thing to demo. Oh, so. Okay. And you, it's the software's free. Um, next up, good fits. Good fits. Oh, yeah, you know what? The photo's really good. So the good fit is um, um, by uh, Travis Goodspeed, and it's a really awesome MSC430 JTAG debugger. It's open source completely. He makes great stuff. The problem is um, you, if you want one of these, you have to actually buy, get the PCBs and build them yourself. And we're like, well, like a lot of people wanted um, to have a good fit because they're doing uh, JTAG um, debugging or they're doing MSC430 work. And so we're like, hey, like let's get these fully assembled and ready to go. So you can actually pick one of these up. I think this is the only place right now you can get a fully assembled good fit. Um, assembled, tested, works great. Travis Goodspeed is a great guy. He designs awesome hardware. And yeah. this is a uh, version 4.2. And Travis Goodspeed, I was just recently told he's not a character in Eon Flux, um, but they both do electronics. News to me. It's he cool. should be a guy. News to me, but it's cool. I, li yeah. I liked it. I was like, oh my god, the guy from Eon Flux is making hardware for us? It's so cool. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, next up. Yeah. We have um, Socket more sockets. So we had TQFP sockets, and now we have um, SOIC sockets. So you can just go through. This is the TSOP socket. Um, this is a uh, fine pitch TSOP socket. 
just showing it off. We also have a big wide SOIC socket, and we also have a bunch of smaller SOIC sockets. And so the reason we have a whole Handy. range of them is because uh, for the, the for the SYC sockets, these sockets can either fit narrow, medium, or wide. And the bodies of SYC devices can be 150 mil, 200 mil, or 300 mil. Um, and so the sockets, the way they work, um, and I'll show it off because it's kind of interesting. Um, you actually, um, let's see if I can get in here. So you actually push down to remove the chip, and there are these little, um, legs, you can kind of see it kind of looks like a face hugger, and um, they grab the legs, and so that the body has to match the size of the socket. So this is like a, I think the narrow socket. So the mm -hmm. the gold um, fingers grab the legs, and it works quite well. So we have one for SOIC. Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, this one is a saw, T saw, and um, it, it's a 28 T saw, but you can put a smaller oh. chip in it as long or fewer pins as long as the body size. Uh, body width matches. So, um, and this is the wide SOIC one, and this one uh, is is kind of big, so it uses this latching system to latch and grab on, and then it converts it to uh, just breadboard. Yeah, super handy. Handy if you um, if you do. Yeah, if you're we, we a lot of times we get products that we like and we use. And, yeah, I use these. And, and they're great for is, testing out chips without soldering to them. Um, you can also use them to program chips before they're soldered on. Um, if you don't yeah. have like programming headers on your chip, um, they're just really, really handy. And uh, I'm glad we have them. Yeah. And you know what I really like? Uh, my check out our like gothy electronic photos. Like, just look at this. Just nice at, black background. Isn't this nice? Yeah. yeah. Electronics should be um, beautifully shot. Look at these photos that John Janeer is doing. Look at yeah. this. You remember this, this folks like detailed capacitors I made with yeah. them, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is how electronics are supposed to look. Look at mm. like, the reflection and everything. Tasty. Yeah, anyways. And you can see the printing on the uh, the chips, which is hard to do. You have to like, you can't have your yeah. light be too direct. Okay, we got the tips. Uh, yeah, we have another um, Hacko tip. Um, this tip is a screwdriver tip. It's 2.4 millimeters, not 1.6. Great for like really big heat sinks when you have a lot of stuff you want to heat up. They have a lot of thermal mass. Might be handy right. for you. Next Check up, uh, we're debuting a product. It's a nice, it's a massive night. Yeah, I know. here. Um, they're not quite ready to have them in the store. We're waiting on a couple parts, but we did want to have yeah. um, a place for people to sign up so we know how many to make for our first run. Yeah. If people wanted 10 or 50 or whatever. That's a quick video. Let us watch a quick video. Here's a new spin on Adafruit's Internet of Things printer. The new printer uses Wi-Fi. You don't need a cable to connect to the internet or to program it. Under the hood, there's a very pie, opening the door to all kinds of new abilities. The software is already Python, so you can leverage a lot of existing libraries. You can find code for parsing XML or JSON data, for instance. It ties into the Python imaging library, so you can do real graphics and typography. You're no longer limited to blocky computer text. Can't wait to see what you do with it. So, uh, have one here live. I can show off real fast. Yeah. Um, this is uh, my demo, and it's um, it prints out. These are all the Adafruit tweets that it, it's lately. And when you press the button, unless something terrible happened, it should um, print out the current weather forecast for you. That's what you wanted. You, you just wanted to have it with you so you could put it in your kit <laughs> and uh, and have it for the oh, day. Oh no, it's being flaky. But okay, um, huh? yeah, I'll probably print out in a second. This is okay. Slow. Oh, yeah, it's a little slow. Um, and inside is a Raspberry Pi. And um, we have um, the thermal printer inside, and then um, a button and a uh, DC jack. And it uses a really big DC power supply. So there's only one plug in the back if you wanted it. So it from both. Mm -hmm. Somewhere it's not being happy. Hello. I'll turn it off. Yeah, because we're going to use that for something else later. So yeah, when you when you turn it off, it, it yeah, maybe you just turn it. Yeah, look at it. That's super cute. Goodbye. All right, so why don't you, uh, uh, we'll turn it on again in a second. Yeah, I'll turn it on. Okay, so, um, so that was uh, new products. Whew, what a marathon.